Hi, we are back in CF Kitchen with Chef Flores. I'm so excited to see what he's gonna share with us today. Thank you so much for having us today. You're welcome. I'm just looking forward to see what today you are going to feed me. Well, today I, I, I will cook for you a uh, Chilean sea bass. Oh my God, that's my favorite. I love it. I love sea bass. Sea bass is something that is uh, uh, well accepted. It's a popular dish that has become uh, quite expensive over the years. Um, I remember years ago um, in the 90s when the, my first encounter with that fish, uh, it was huge fillets and I mean it was the price was you cannot believe but it was less than five dollars a pound and yeah and and uh, over the years you know people just crave for that fish I mean uh, this is a uh, delicious uh, fleshy white uh, uh, chunk of uh, uh, fillets and and you know, now o over the years have been kind of shrinking a little bit, and you know, this, the size of the fillet is not what it used to be. But uh, nevertheless, it's a very acceptable fish. I mean, every time that I put it on, on the specials, you know, it sells pretty good. And when I take it off, uh, people complain and they, they, they ask me to, to get it back. So, what part of the fish do you use for this special dish? Well, it comes from fillets like that. This one I have, uh, uh, this fillet I buy from Restaurant Depot, at my purveyor. And uh, I cut it, you know, I clean it. The top, the, you know, the thicker part has some bone in it that you have to deal with it. But the half, the second half to the tail uh, is all lean meat and uh, it comes from the uh, deep uh, cold uh, waters of Chile and Antarctica. And uh, it looks like a, as you see a picture, like a prehistoric uh, a monster a creature from the deep sea. And uh, I will cut this uh, about six ounce, seven ounce uh, portion. Uh, one part that is at the thicker part, uh, the wider part of the fish close to the head, I believe, uh, that will have some bones in it and that's kind of tricky. But the lower part, uh, I like it better because uh, there is no bone. So we cut it and, you know, I divide it in two pieces and, and then I do the portioning. So we're going to cut from here down and uh, we're going to cut our portion from this side. Uh, I'll cut this off. Here, sometimes you there is a bone right here. You encounter some bones, so we're gonna cut this up already here. Well, with this fish being so expensive, so delicate, you need to try not to to waste too much and try to make a nice even portions. So here's the bone, just a little bit. So right here we're gonna our door portion, right there. So, I prefer to leave a little bit of skin on. It, you know, it gives uh, uh, more presentation, uh, more body. At the same time, uh, it holds the fish. You know, I, I, I find out that cutting this off, the, the fish, the, the flesh can uh, kind of shrink. Again, very simple, salt and pepper. Okay, so now we have a nice piece of uh, uh, sea bass and we're gonna, you know, dress in flour all over in the sides and the bottom and uh, so we get a nice uh, cross and protect also the flowers you uh, serve uh, to protect the, the, the fish especially fish you know that the, the meat is very uh, delicate so and also uh, for browning so and that's it we're gonna go to the skillet just put on a skillet the skillet will be like you know enough oil so it doesn't stick 
and uh, it's gonna be kind of pan fry, not just saute. It's gonna be pan fry, you know, when you have a uh, amount of oil in a skillet. Put the skin side down, brown the, that side first, and then flip it over and kind of finish in the oven. So right now we make the uh, hot oil, get a little hot, and then we place the fish. With the fire you can uh, put it up, put it down, you know, control it. Otherwise, if, if you let the fire control you, you uh, burn the food. It happens all the time. So, right now, we got a little color right there, and then uh, we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, now, 400 preheat oven, the fish goes in. And that again can take maybe 15, 20 minutes. If we cook it slower, we can do, you know, you get a nice roast. Let's do 375. Well, for the sauce, so this, uh, we had a mix of tomatoes. Uh, we do Roma tomatoes and cherry tomatoes um, with mixed colors and, and basil and chopped shallots, that's the mix that we have here. Okay, this is our uh, mix uh, uh, that we use for the uh, tomato basil, this fresh basil, shallots, and tomatoes of different types, all mixed up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, just cook a uh, high heat. We put a little butter and some white wine. So this is uh, lemon juice. And again, a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're gonna take the, uh, the fish. Once it comes out of the oven, then we we uh, do butter, unsalted butter, and cook it a little, you know, low heat so it doesn't burn. But we want a little brown butter, and it gives a, a little flavor, more flavor, because the fish by itself is, uh, you know, you don't need much. And we're gonna start our veggies also for this dish. This is our uh, garlic mashed potatoes. And as usual, our veggies are gonna be Awesome. Yeah. It looks so good. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm looking forward to tasting. Bon appetit. <laughs> and sharing his recipes with us. I definitely recommend you to visit this awesome restaurant. I put the location down below. I hope you enjoy. Bon appetit.